You may have seen this cabin design video I made from a few years back. It was a very traditional design and I was very happy with the plan, but it wasn't as modern as I would have liked it to be. So in this video, I'm going to show you how Procreate and its modern digital tools help me revisit this idea in my sketchbook and turn this traditional cabin concept into a more modern and sustainable design. As it turned out, I also had this idea in my sketchbook for a modern house with the unconventional roof line shown here. And it occurred to me that I could marry the tall part of this roof line with a high ceiling great room in that traditional cabin design I had created. So I began by importing the plan from the cabin design, lining it up with the elevation above, adding some foundation walls and some of the major design elements like the fireplace, and generally starting to map out the section where I wanted to cut it through the house. In this case, I wanted the section to cut through the kitchen with the living room fireplace in the background and through the courtyard with the hot tub to see how these areas would fit in with the new roof form. Notice that I am once again combining both drawing assist for the drafted lines of the foundation and section and freehand lines for the design ideas I'm adding in real time. But still, I'm always making a conscious effort to sketch freehand in scale so as to keep a realistic idea of what every line will mean later on in real life. At this point, I'm able to switch from section to elevation by adding a layer of semi-opaque white that acts as tracing paper and a new layer on top of that for the actual sketch I'm making with my favorite number one technical pen. I'm using the fireplace and section lines under the trace to locate the major elements of the elevation, starting with the windows. I'm experimenting with a slightly random pattern of horizontal mullions that step up with the diagonal of the roof while creating an interesting modern pattern more reminiscent of a Mondrian painting, say, than a traditional house. I'm reasonably happy with the composition that I have, but I'm going to use one of my favorite techniques in Procreate now to see what I really have versus a lot of lines, and that is to add color, big, bold areas of color, added with the select and fill color method we've talked about many times in these videos that not only clarify what is what, but also help me begin to see larger issues of solid voids. And these I think are the things that make a design exciting. The big openings in the facade, the rhythm created by the window mullions, the contrasting colors, the amount of shadows that fall on the windows or the openings. These are all the exciting things that go beyond a traditional house design with its very well-behaved windows and facades and turn something into or potentially turn something into architecture. I'm going to put the outside on hold for a moment and go back to the section, developing it more by adding color to define walls and windows and starting to add shadows. And I make these shadows by creating a new layer, changing that layer to multiply blend mode, using the freehand select tool to select the shape of the shadow, fill that shape with black, then lighten that black until I get the effect I want. Now I want to look at a section going the other way, and I want to study options for the truss I'm using to hold up the weight of the green roof. So I flip the whole canvas, throw a layer of semi-opaque white over the image, and begin working the section and the plan at the same time. I'm trying to figure out how many trusses there will be, and what the spacing will be, and how they will affect the layout of the plan. I'm also testing the possibility of bringing the green roof all the way down to the ground, or maybe adding a green roofed dormer to bring some light into the back of the plan. All these kinds of things are coming up and I'm just dealing with them one at a time, all in this very loose freehand sketch mode. And of course, the great thing about Procreate is you can test all these ideas on a single canvas as I'm doing here with a quick study of the back elevation of this house, checking for proper clearances, what the roof will look like from this angle, etc. The entire last part of this design is just me cleaning up the edges of the freehand drawing with more precisely drafted edges created with either the freehand or rectangular selection tool and then filled with color using the fill command in the layers drop down palette. I use the rectangular selection tool where the edges of the areas I'm filling are all vertical or horizontal 
and I use the freehand selection tool when the edges I'm selecting are curved or complex polygons or shapes on a diagonal. And this is where Procreate really shines, creating a new kind of presentation drawing that is somewhere between a freehand sketch, a photoshopped colored 2D rendering, and a photorealistic digital rendering. In my mind, it really is a new kind of medium, but because of the directness of the Apple Pencil on the iPad glass, it really feels more intuitive and direct to me. I wanted to try a larger variation of the cabin, so I took the original 1500 square foot cabin and turned it into a four bedroom cabin. And don't forget, you can download an interactive spreadsheet of all the Procreate videos on my channel, so you can find the Procreate video you need when you need it. Just tap on the link in the description below and it'll take you there. Thanks for watching everybody.